and Peter Kong from Freebie. In the last academic year, 2014 to 2015, I luckily rated the first in frontal geography. The purpose of this video is to share my experience. To begin with, I would like to take this opportunity to thank my frontal geography teacher first. Some students complain that there is too many things for us to recite for geography. For example, in the long questions, the causes and the preventive measures of the hazards are tested. Candidates always lost, uh, lose many marks in the long questions. Some others may also complain that the map reading exercises are too difficult. In this video, I am going to introduce three methods to tackle with these problems. Firstly, drawing table can help prevent us from messing up the things in different areas. I drew a table for this book, Natural Hazards. In the first column, I write down the causes of each hazard. In the next column, I jot down the, the characteristics of the hazards. In the third column, I draw the preventive measures. This helped me to have a clear mind about the whole book. As a result, I won't mix all the things up. Secondly, we can choose to recite some answers that suits all the questions. What do I mean? Take all, once again, take this book as an example. When the question requires me to answer the preventive measures of tropical cyclone, my answer will be to carry out education to raise awareness. When the question requires me to answer the way to tackle with landslides, my answer will also be to carry out education to raise awareness. My point is that the different areas of the top are a, spe a specific topic are interrelated. As a result, we can choose some answers that choose all questions. For the first step of revision is to highlight the, these points, and we can uh, study these points first. We can leave the less important parts when we finish this important points. Thirdly, for map reading exercises, uh, I think the map reading exercises given by teachers are extremely important. My usual practice is to study the skills and uh, map reading skills before doing these exercises. This is because these exercises can be treated as a self-test. My target is to get 70% out of the total mark in each exercise. If I fail to do this, I will redo it and continuously. Okay. To conclude, I have three methods for studying geography. The first method is to is to draw a table. The second method is to recite some answers that shows all the questions. The last method is to do more practice on map reading exercises. I hope that this video is beneficial to all of you. Goodbye.